Yeah, what do you think? Hang on a sec, I'm gonna do my little sign on Gilio for those of them who are watching after the fact. I'll cut it about here. Thanks for tuning in. This is Toast, another MVM stream. We are on Empire Escalation, finishing my 31st tour. As always, if you got comments, questions, chat me up. Leave a comment if you're watching this after the fact, like Creeper is right now. Well, he's not watching after the fact, but he's watching live, like you should be. Um, join the Steam group, subscribe on YouTube, on Twitch, wherever you're watching this. I will see you when you tune in next time. And thank you, Check, Creeper, for uh, tuning your, in. Uh, demo hat. I can't remember what that effect was called. I really and like that. I have to hit ready. Oh, I know what this one is. No, your demo. Yeah, and the the time with the stickies is I'll hide around my corners and I'll just lay them like right about there and then detonate and just keep back paddling a lot. I'll, I'll you'll have to watch um, either one of the previous ones or in the future when I get a chance to play demo um, and see what I'm talking about. But I I just find myself constantly pumping out scotch resistance stuff, and when something gets close and in my face, I'll just whip out the eyeliner and try and take a head. But I find most of the time that doesn't happen. I play a pretty. Uh, I guess long range demo, if that makes sense. And I really like being able to have uh, 14 stickies out at the same time. Have two or three piles of them ready. So see what I mean where I'm just shooting one and then fire one and fire, I'm not actually loading out the beggars with Zuja at all. Once I get my fire rate, um, Upgraded a little more. This will make a lot more sense when I'm doing this strategy with this weapon. And then I use the uh, buff banner to get ammo. No, there's some crit stickies down. Uh. Last one alive, lock the door. You might have to be let me know that before. I'm not sorry, my bad. Man, Fox, you're a terrible medic. I am. Nope, I can't rocket jump up there yet. What the hell is it? Oh, all right. That's different. Yeah, the demo's a fragile little something something. And that's why I like playing the Scotch Resistance the way I do. We're very, uh, very much out of the direct line of fire. If I don't, I die pretty quickly otherwise. Yeah, might use how slow this fire rate is. I'm kind of a carry for the first couple of rounds anyways, so not a huge deal. Yeah, this is the one downside to the beggars. You can see I'm aiming right at that sniper, but man, these are not going to hit the sniper. Wait, it's going slow for some reason. Yeah, what's that? Oh, yes, by the time that I say, yeah, what's that, you'll uh, already put it in there. By the time you hear me saying that, but oh well. Oh, there's some good sticky down. Um, One director can take uh, it out. Well, you you well, I mean, the thing about the taking it out, that's where resistances come into play. I mean, yeah, you have 150 health, but if you have max resistance, especially max blast and crit, you won't be taking all that much damage from uh, direct rockets anymore. Even 
as demo or even if they're full crit or whatever. That's where your resistance is really coming to play. Man, I am lagging. Yeah, I see you up there, Sniper. Here's the fun part. It is choppy. I'm not getting much lag at all, funny enough. It's just go. I don't know if it's lag. It's just going. It's getting choppy. All right, now we got fire rate right off. At the same time. That just seems like a general problem. Soldier or sniper can be more useful really taking out it. boss with headshots and can use Jiraji to slow down. Um, so the thing about soldier or uh, sniper, um, sniper and demo are kind of compliments. So or uh, not compliments, substitutes. So you you want a soldier or and you want a soldier and either a demo or a sniper. So if somebody really adamantly wants to play sniper, you generally don't run a demo because both of them do the same job. It's just that demo That's a weird noise. Um demo generally puts out a lot more damage than sniper does, which is why you run demo over sniper a lot of the time. And the Jurati can be helpful, but um Scout can do the slow do on that, and yeah, you want him upstairs for this, I think, because of the Huntsman snipers. But by the way, Beggar's Bazooka, this is what I'm talking about. When go. I upgrade my ammo capacity all the way, I can do this for 50 rockets okay. in a row, which Most is time pretty awesome. Fire, so that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I don't have the Scottish, so... Go, go, go. I mean, now you can understand what I'm saying with Beggar's Bazooka's amazeballs. You just fire off rockets. Lock, it's going out of style. So I'm going to be chewing through ammo. So Beggar's Bazooka is really good at taking out the crowds because of the inaccuracy. You just kind of spam near the bomb and it'll just find its way through your target. And when you're out, should go take the next set. Yeah, and Jurati is a really good weapon, however, the sniper rifle does not make up for the lack of damage. Like, the demo compared to sniper on most scenarios, demo will be pumping out more damage than sniper will, 9 times out of 10. But as far as soldier or demo, I would take demo over soldier any day of the week because demo ramps a lot faster to max to a good damage before soldier does. The only reason that soldier is acceptable is because of the buff banner. That's really the only thing because it, it adds team damage. If it wasn't for the buff banner, soldier would not be a viable class for MVM because it really doesn't get full potential until like wave 5 or so. By the way, everything I'm saying goes towards advanced two cities MVM. I can't really speak for uh, other difficulties or other tours. Hey, look, I just got a cow mangler. That's exciting. Oh, 
Another sentry buster has entered the area. Maybe we should get my rocket specialist. But damage is always good. That sentry buster is kind of a douchebag. Can I get a revive on the pipe when we get a chance? Never mind. If I wasn't dead, yeah. Here comes the spies. So, Cameron, I'm prepared to ask you this. What's your favorite class, Creeper? Sounds like it might be Sniper. You killed all the spies. Thanks for the teleporter. Favorite class is Medic. Interesting. That's one of the few that I just have not spent a lot of time playing yet. I feel like we probably should practice Medic a little more. Time arrow. making noises. Going to the pit. Yeah, medic. I, I've seen some medics be very, very aggressive with how they play. Um, kind of just depends on how you want to do it. But I've seen some medics who get all up in the business of everybody who's out there with them. Ah, crap. Should have gotten ammo. Oh, well. Or ammo canteens, I mean. Health regen's nice, um, but you get health regen in a lot of classes. I don't know. In MVM, at least. That's an interesting place for the Sentry Buster. Man up, ladies! What are they doing? Let's go. Y'all ready? So when did you stop playing MVM, Creeper? Like a week ago, a month ago, a year ago? Like how long have you been out for? Oh, just TF2 in general, my favorite class is Spy. By far. Four, 
Three, two, one. Spam, 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 spam. Almost sounds like that RV behind me is on. Okay. Help him up here. I had one ticket bet. Someone offered me a specialized kill streak strange overdose with the name tag, and I couldn't refuse his offer. <laughs> what was the name on it? I mean, how fancy are we talking about here? The Greek god of medicine, nice. Not actually use like Achilles or Zeus or something, just Greek god of blank. Like not actually use the Greek god's names. I gotta know what the, uh, maybe Aphrodite medicine. I don't know my Greek mythology very well. Wow, he just one shot in my face. That hurt. Oh, okay. You just don't know the name off the top of your head. Okay, then that is a very fancy name. 
Just to say, if you literally just named it, like, Greek God of Medicine, rather than the name of the Greek God of Medicine, that would be kind of lame. Not nearly as fancy. So you have played Two Cities before then. That's what I was curious about, is whether or not you would play the Two Cities campaign if you were one of the like veterans from way long ago, in the dark ages of MVM before the medic update and that kind of stuff. I need some resistances. Cause this wave's gonna hurt. Oh, I am doing terror bad on damage right now. Yikes. Thanks. We even getting beaten out by the engineer. Whew. <sighs> it's okay, I'm not that far off, but I am getting. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I mean, I'm able to basically self-finance, or playing MVM finances itself is what I'm trying to say. Because I take the parts, make the kits, sell the kits, and then if I get Australians or whatnot, I'll sell those too. Um, out of, I'm up about 100 bucks right now, which is kind of nice. Over, whatever, 31 tours. And since this is a tour completion, here's hoping get something shiny today. Never know. I was wondering what he was doing. Guess we get for throwing it up there, Jake. I got it, don't worry. I saved it for you. It's in my tummy now. Although the gift wrap didn't taste very good. Whoa! Thank you, Jake. Let's give this I love my iron curtain. I really want a non-specialized kill streak iron curtain, like just one of the plain ones, just to track kills with it. I'm too cheap to buy any spec kits, but the normal kits I love. I just haven't seen one drop yet, or if I have, it's you know something I've sold because it's worth too much. Yeah, we're all guaranteed to get a normal kit thrill streak item at the end of a tour. And you generally either get a pro kit or um, a spec kit. If you're real lucky, you'll get an Australian, but those are, those are a once in a long time kind of drop. I mean, Jake has, what, 122 tours? And he's only gotten two. There's three Australians, I think. Uh, 
I survived that. Favorite weapon in TF2 in general? Does the uh, Dead Ringer count? Because that would have to be my favorite weapon is in TF2. Dead Ringer guy. I, I, I hate to admit it. That is my spy weapon of choice. I used to be a Dead Ringer kunai kind of guy, but I since dropped the kunai and just do a normal knife now. But I love playing obvious spy. Surprisingly good at it too, even though, you know, it really shouldn't be. Since I play obvious spy, I shouldn't be as good at it as I am, but you know, it's always fun to go into a payload or a valve server for payload and just rock it up with some dead ringer fun. But yeah, I'm a dirty little spy at heart. Don't play it in MVM, obviously, because it has no place in MVM. But. Look how the scout's just staring at you and just like, what what are you doing? I'm giving you a bonus. So let me guess, your favorite weapon is probably the uh overdose? Maybe? I'm trying to think what adds health regeneration for the medic. Where's my medic page? Amputator then, maybe, is your favorite weapon? See, I'm not a I'm not an Eternal Ward fan. I like being able to choose my own disguises. If only just to get past sentries. What is the answer? I'm ready to be surprised. Um, no more heavy? Flog's a solid weapon, I gotta say. Go, go, go. Only really used in MBM, though. No, it's like the... It's like this gun. I just... I don't use it outside of MBM, but it is fun to use inside of MBM. Man. Australian flamethrower and Australian axe. Jake, you need an Australian shotgun to complete your kit. Yeah, see, I personally, I'm a degreaser guy. Again, I play Spy so much that I play Pyro like I'm playing Spy. Where I will, uh, I'll go around, sneak around, find somebody, 
quickly light them on fire, air blast them up in the air, quick switch to my axe, and just chop them in half. Take them out. One fell swoop. wave. Oh, this wave. How I hate me. That's not what I wanted to hit. I like the Australian Islander the best. See, I I hate to jump on the bandwagon, but I would want either a uh, Australian pan, or if there's an Australian knife, which I don't know there is, that's what I would want, just so that I could turn people. What? I just bounce right back, you know, last resistance and the like. Yeah, I want to be able to uh, turn people gold with backstabs, kind of like the spicicle, but with backstabs. That would just be, that would be amazing. Pan's far too expensive to buy it for just for that purpose, but man, that would be so much fun. I don't know if they have an Australian knife that does that, but I would probably get yeah, it if they did, and it was a reasonable price. Mind you, when I say reasonable price, it'd have to be like 10 bucks. Anything more than that's just crazy to pay. Oh man, this wave just goes on and on and on. All spy bots destroyed. Jerk who stays alive. Big robot. Oh, destroy. 
Nice. See, and this is where the uh, Scottish Resistance shines over the normal grenade launcher. The Scottish Resistance, you can set a trap. That just clears these guys out almost instantly. I don't know if we can do this, guys. Eight pain in the ass scouts left. These guys are jerks, though. Let's be real. Yeah, and even if, like, for some reason, if I got a pan on, like, this tour completion, let's say, I wouldn't keep it. I'd sell it. I'd keep it for, like, maybe a week just to play with it, but I would sell it. I just, I can't have a virtual item that's worth that much sitting in my inventory just rotting. Yeah, lock and load, I'm just not that accurate. I can't I can't always hit somebody dead on. I need to be able to spam. Well this is a little premature. Now I've gotta hold this until Or just die, you know. Hey, yeah, I found a beggar's bazooka. Oh look, another beggar's bazooka to compliment my beggar's bazooka. Thanks for the aid. Let's try to tell you something. Prepare yourself. The last of the robots are here. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, if I found an Australian Medigun, I'd sell it for whatever the market price is. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I think they're worth like 40, 50 bucks, though. So. Something like that. This wave is just plain easy. I assume you never found any Australian Screeper? Well, let's put it this way, if I find an Australian Medigun, you can have first dibs when paying for it, but I'm not going to sell it below whatever the market value is on it. At the end of the day, those fines 
keep it so that I can keep playing this game without having to really pay for it, which is the goal at the end of the day. Tearing through these guys. Like butter. You should have gotten, I mean, ten tours done, you should have gotten some basic kill tree kits. Or a couple of spec kits. Nothing probably terribly valuable, but it took me I think twenty-six or twenty-seven tours till I found my first Australian. At the end of the day, the spec kits are what make the money for me. Those are the guys that finance my MVM. So we can make those and sell each one for like two, three bucks. So. Boom, boom, boom. Not bad, level 69 fab. What did I get? Alright, rocket launcher. And a bad out of hell. Only the rocket launchers isn't hadn't tanked because they were in the crates. Aw, uh, did they? First in my bubble. Thanks for tuning in, Creeper. It's gonna be my last one for reals for a while. Um, it's time to go make some food. But I will see you later. Thanks for tuning in.